What's going on YouTube fam? Mike here shooting another high adventure video out here on the beautiful South Carolina coast once again. We're starting off the morning trying to do a little trout fishing here at this inlet I'm at but I do see there are quite a few people quite a few people are already here so we'll see if we can kind of jockey for a spot here a little bit. Apparently the trout fishing here the speckled trout fishing is on fire so this is only my second time actually going after them. We'll see what we can do. So the first time I was out trout fishing here at the beach, I was with Jighead Outdoors. Go give him a subscribe, guys. He's a local YouTuber here in South Carolina. He suggested these little voodoo shrimp here, and they look quite foxy, I'm not going to lie. And these trout will just gobble up the shrimp. See what we can do with that. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty good right there? I don't know. To me, that looks real good. Let's go see if we can find a spot over here. Good morning. Good morning. The water looks good. There he is, guys, right there. Got him. It's a nice one. That's a keeper. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Well, that's a nice fish for the first fish of the day. Check out that fish right there. They gotta be 14 inches to keep. Look at that, right on that little bit of shrimp. Nice. I guarantee you that. That's probably that'll probably go 16 right there. Sweet. Oh, hook popped right out. There you go. Nice. First fish of the day. Alright, one fish. Let's get back in there. No way. And a 25 no. Well, that would have been fun. I ain't caught, but the bigger ones, I'm kind of, they're fun to fight, but yeah. I want something to eat. I was to get <coughs> uh-huh. There he is. Oh, man, he just smoked it. Just smoked it. Ooh, kind of small. Kind of small. Pretty thick. Oh, there he just got off. Uh, you know, actually, ugh, that's a nice fish, but I guarantee you that's kind of small here. Ooh, here, here whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, isn't that pretty? I guarantee you that's probably only about 12, 13 inches, though. We're going to drop her back in. There she goes. Man, she smacked that. There it is. Got it. Feels like a good one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Fish number three. That's definitely another keeper right there. Another keeper right there, look at that. Oh, pretty fish, pretty fish. Just smoked it. Check that out right there. Pretty on the striper rod, the ugly stick striper rod. Catching some speckled trout. Sweet. Another one for the bucket. Good morning. There he is, right there. Boom. Another small one. Whoa. Check that. Good grief. That's some head shaking right there. Good grief. Annihilated it. Annihilated. Kind of small, but look at that. Check that out. She choked down that little voodoo shrimp right there. Good grief. That might be 14, but she's kind of scrawny. Pretty fish. We're going to go ahead and throw it back, though. Oh yeah, we're catching some fish on the voodoo shrimp, but I feel like I'm not catching as much as like everybody else is catching right now. So, did I rig that on upside down? I think I did. Maybe I didn't. We're going to switch up tactics a little bit and try this right here. This is electric chicken sea shad color. So, we're going to give that a try here. Switch it up just a little bit. Alrighty, electric chicken. Do your stuff. There he is, right there, on that electric chicken. Ooh, this is going to be close. Oh yeah, he's a keeper. 
Man, he just nailed that electric chicken. That was awesome. Yeah, well, I just switched. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Just gobbled it up. Do y'all have a measuring stick on you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come. Well, I'm gonna try to break my rod first. Then I'm gonna. Oh, wait, you got the same cart. Awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah. She's just a little bit short, 13 and three quarters. If I stepped on her, she'd go to 14, guys. <laughs> Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Another pretty fish, though. Another pretty fish. There she goes. There he is, right there. Another small one. Still a good fight, man, they're just hammering it. There's no doubt about it. A little small, a little small. <sighs> Come here, you. Nice. Another pretty fish. I kind of lost count. That's like six or seven for me and two keepers so far. There she goes. That's two for the electric chicken. Oh, just missed him. Very next cast. There he is. Got him. Not a bad fish right here. This one might be a keeper. This one might be a keeper. Guys, that's two casts. Two fish, two casts. Boom. Nice. She's 14, guys. Gotta be 14. Let's go in the bucket. Sweet. There he is. This feels like a good one, guys. That's a good one. This is a good one. When I laid into him, he felt good. Look at this. It's probably the biggest one of the day right there. Yeah, there's a nice one. Perfect. Look at this, guys. Look at that. He choked that thing down. Look at that. Check out the teeth on these, too. You guys see that? That's not a regular trout, like an Idaho trout. You can't lip that sucker. You're going to be in for a world of hurt if you do that. But, man, just absolutely gobbled that down. Another beautiful one. That's a keeper right there. Nice. Check that out, guys. Look at that. Just wearing them out. I'll bet you that's probably another close to 15 inch right there. That's another keeper. We're getting close to our limit now. Only get a couple more. They're just gobbling down that shrimp. What a pretty fish. Here we go. Oh yeah, 15, 15 inches. Another keeper. Sweet, guys. Well, we're loading up. Whoa, 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 stay in the bucket. There we go. Loading up the bucket today. Good grief. Not bad for only my second time going for speckled trout. Good night. Right there. Right there. Guys, this is a redfish. This is a redfish. We got a redfish. Check this out. Oh, this might be in the slot limit too. Oh, check it out. Bonus. Bonus fish. Look at that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Check that out right there. It's gotta be 15. Gotta be 15. Look at that, just horked down. That shrimp. Isn't that pretty? Let's go find out if it's 15. Oh man. I knew, I watched the guy catch a red earlier. There's still a few in here. Finally found one. Gotta be 15, let's see. Oh yeah. A little, a little over 16. 16 and a quarter. Guys, we got a, a red in the slot. It's been about a month since I've done that. All the reds I've caught recently have all been, whoa, way, way too big. 
Sweet. That's a bonus fish. Go ahead and throw him on the stringer. All right, y'all, it is right. We are right at low tide. In fact, actually the tide's just starting to come in now, but we have just been slamming them all morning. And we finally got that red right at kind of the slack tide here. And I'd seen another gentleman catch one. So I was kind of hoping secretly that I'd get one. And we did 16 and a half inches. So we're gonna have some redfish, which is delicious. I was told that if I can also get a flounder, that's called a grand slam. So hopefully we'll get a flounder too. All right, we're moving up. Tide's starting to come in. Move up this way a little bit here. See if the fish, woo, if we don't fall in first. See if the fish are starting to move up a little closer to the mouth of this here. Oh, I think I might have missed one out there. There he is. Got him right there. Oh, that's a nice one. This might be the best one of the day right here. Oh, there we go. Shoot. Just threw it right at the bank. Dang it. That was a nice fish. Oh, see, there you go. He's got one over there. They've moved up. They've moved up closer to the mouth of where, the, where, the, where all this water's coming in from the ocean. All the fresh water. There's one right there. Second cast. Second cast. Oh, this feels like another nice one. Yeah. Yeah, that's another nice one. Awesome. Come here. I'm a steep bank. Yes. <laughs> nice. I'll bet you that's a keeper, 100%. That's two for two. Well, okay, we didn't technically get the other one. It's awesome. This is just absolutely insane trout fishing here on the beach. Incredible. Another one. Oh, it's a red. It's another red. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a red. Oh, I think it's going to be in the slot size too. Oh, oh my word. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Check that out. Oh, my word. Oh, I guarantee you that's in the slot. I'll bet that's probably about 18 to 20 inches or so. <sighs> Just gobbled that shrimp up right there. Oh, wow. What an incredible day of fishing. What an incredible day. Let's go measure it up and make sure. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's that. 18 inches. 18 inches. That's a slaughter right there right in the slot limit boom all oh, these taste so good too let's go get it on the stringer oh, guys check this out check this out we have officially limited out on both trout and redfish you can keep two redfish per person per day 
and 10 trout. And we are done. Pick this up. That, that is an incredible stringer right there. Good grief. Oh my word. Look at that. The redfish are really the bonus fish. I mean, that, that is awesome. Those taste so good. Those trout taste amazing. Really anything out of the ocean. I don't I think it's the saltwater. Saltwater fish are just, in my opinion, superior to freshwater fish. I haven't found a freshwater fish. Maybe walleye. Walleye are close, but like, oh, the, the, getting this. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. This is, I mean, this is nuts. I, the, the ocean fishing for me here in South Carolina has been absolutely off the hook. <laughs> what a great day. What a great day. We're going to go ahead, get these on ice, get back, and I want to try smoking some of these trout for the very first time. It's been a while since I've actually smoked some trout. So we're going to try smoking up some of these saltwater trout. See how that tastes. So I'll catch you guys back at the house. All right, back at my place. We're gonna go ahead and cook these up here on the deck. But first we gotta get cleaning, but check out these beautiful fall colors in my backyard. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? And me too, Man. And I like it too. You like it too, huh? This is my little girl, Arabella. Bella, say hello to everybody. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, not camera shy at all, that one. What we're gonna start with is we're gonna scale these first off. Yeah, and then we'll just fillet them up. All right, now we have the fish that we're gonna smoke all scaled. We're gonna go ahead and get to filleting. We'll make a cut just like that. Pop it off, there we go. There is one trout fillet with the skin on. Sweet. Now we've just got nine and a half to go. Sweet, that's a lot of fish. <laughs> it is a lot of fish, isn't it? What's in there? Just some more guts. See, we gotta cut that rib cage out right there. Cause you don't want the bones, right? Yeah, bones are not your favorite. Nope, look at that, see that piece of meat right there? Yeah, that looks a beautiful. <laughs> Doesn't it though? All right, now at our prep table, we're going to have a couple of different ways that we are going to cook this fish up. Smoke it, I should say. So for this first batch, we're going to do a mixture of brown sugar, garlic powder. Let's just put garlic powder on that little cutter bee. Get, get, get going, get going. There are a bunch of a bunch of dead fish carcasses over there that you can have, not this. This dude's like, I just want the choicest cuts, man. All right, you're gonna get peppered. We're also gonna add pepper, as well as some fresh cracked salt. Then kind of for the main seasoning, we're gonna do this Shields Outfitters Southern Style Seafood Seasoning. And we're gonna kind of just kind of rub the seasoning into the meat. You know, I'm not sure, but we're gonna go ahead and flip these over and lightly season this side as well. I'm not sure if you should or not, but you know what, we're gonna give it a go anyway. Now we'll go ahead and take our freshly seasoned fillets. Look at that. Looks pretty good to me. We're gonna go ahead and slide them right in our Ziploc bag here. And these will go in the fridge for about the next three hours to sit in our dry rub in a nice cool climate until they're ready to smoke. For our second round of fish, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the seasonings, except this time we're gonna add Goya adobo with pepper all-purpose seasoning. All right, both sides of this seasoned as well. Same thing. Gonna go into our Ziploc bag here, into the fridge for at least a couple hours. We'll probably do about three hours with these and then get ready to smoke. So apparently since Crockett got his hair cut, Bella decided she wanted to get her hair cut. Hey, baby boo. You getting your hair cut? Yeah, I am getting my hair cut. Is mama gonna do it for the first time? <laughs> I have a unicorn jacket. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. Haircutting day. Hey, can I have a haircut? Sure. All right, sweet. Maybe we'll all just get haircuts today. 
Hey, ham bone. All right, guys. I am decked out in this awesome, what do they call this? Cape. Barber's cape. Here we go, honey. Are you feeling confident? No, Are you feeling no. comfortable? <laughs> Try this out. If not, oh, you're boy. getting a haircut today. Yeah, looking a little raggedy. This is the first ever. My wife has never cut my hair before, so. And I'm gonna sit right here. You're gonna sit and watch? All right, here we go, <laughs> honey. Godspeed. Okay. <laughs> How's it looking, boo? It's looking good, baby. Not too shabby. Nice. Do we have a first successful husband and wife haircut here? I think so. You don't have to go get your hair cut again today. Yes. How about that? Wow. Push it up a little bit. Man, now I need to shave. Look at me. Whoa, boo, thank you. You're That's welcome. awesome. That is awesome. There you go. High five. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, do it again. That was I bad. There we go. An awkward angle. <laughs> Sweet. Look at me. Man, I'm looking stylish now. I don't look like a hobo. All right, time to turn on our smoker. Let's see. I think we're going to do 200 degrees. Let's make sure we have pellets. Yeah, we got some pellets. This is the Pit Boss, the Pro Series. I love this. This has smoker on this side. It's got a grill on this side. And it has a little burner as well. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. I really, I really like this. Highly recommend it. I've got a couple of grill mats down here, so we're gonna put some fish up on the top racks, fish on the bottom racks. But first, we're gonna let this get to 200 degrees, then our fish will be ready. All right, we have reached temperature. Check out that. Look at those fillets. Now, one of the things I've done is I actually rinsed all these fillets off with cool water, then I dabbed them dry with a paper towel. Then I let them sit in the fridge again for about another hour to kind of dry and cool off. If you throw these on the smoker with all the seasonings on them, it's going to be way too strong. So you want to rinse a lot of the seasoning off. That's why you brine it. Or that's why you have it sit um, like in the dry rub because then that's how that meat soaks up that flavoring. Then you get it smoking for a couple hours uh, or between one and three hours in this case. Um, that's how you're going to get that that flavor that we're after so go ahead and open this up oh yeah look at that look at that that's awesome go ahead and start putting these guys right in here like so look at that got everything in the smoker enough looking at it let's get this closed keep it down let it smoke all right we are close to getting the trout done and smoked we have our redfish though here. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna throw this on the grill with a little salt, a little fresh cracked pepper. And on this one, we're gonna do a little Mediterranean herb seasoning. Spread lightly. Rinse and repeat on the other side. All right, and both fillets go nicely right on the grill. Boom. Let those cook a few minutes on each side and they'll be ready to go. All right, let's come over here and take a look at our smoke. Oh yeah, look at that. Check those out right there. That looks good, the ones on the bottom. Oh yeah. Should be about perfect. When the redfish is done, we'll go ahead and pull all this off at the same time. We'll have a little smoked and grilled ocean fish. <laughs> all right, Whoa. Bella, are you ready to try some of this? Fish. I know. Uh, look at that. Check that out right there. I'm a high adventure video girl. <laughs> high adventure video girl. You heard it here first. Got some smoked trout. Yeah. Got our grilled redfish. Bella, would you say a prayer for us before we start, please? Dear Lord, thank you to my food. Bless us saying amen. Amen. Thank you, honey. Now start eating on the fridge. Uh, what a ham. What a ham. All right. Let me try this. Yeah, try some of that grilled stuff. Tell me what you think. Mm. Check this out. Look at that. Nice, beautiful crust on that smoked fish. Mm. This is that Shields Outfitter seafood seasoning. Gonna try some of the skin now. You okay? The thing with that, with, with at least with the trout um, skin, it's not really edible. It's super like chewy. So. The skin, leaving the skin would probably just be for the smoking purposes. Might keep moisture in, I don't know. But the skin is not edible. 
So we learned that today. Hey, Mr. Crockett, you wanna try some fish? Here you go, Mr. C. Here, try some of that. Is the fish pretty good, dude? Pretty good. <laughs> All right, we got a thumbs up. When I can get an approval from my two-year-old, I figured that's a good fish. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the recipe. Go smoke some trout, it's delicious. And as always, we will see you in the next one.